Welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How is everybody doing on this Saturday? I know, sorry, it's Saturday. I'm late. Very sorry about that. It's been kind of like uh, a few things have happened this week. Nothing seriously bad, but I will kind of go over my week with you guys. Um, as you know, last weekend I had my oldest granddaughter, Analia, over with me. Uh, she spent the night Friday night and Saturday night and we did the whole weekend. We had uh, a really good time. So we had Friday night. I didn't work on a lot of stuff. Saturday we woke up early. We went and got our toenails done and it was so nice. I haven't had my toes done forever, forever and ever and ever. And I just needed it so badly. So I just cannot paint my toenails. Just I look like a two-year-old does my toenails every time I do them. So it's just not me. So that's why I just was like, yes, go get my feet done. It's been forever, forever. And um, so we had a good time. We came back to the house and she helped me with my podcast. I know it wasn't my regular chatty podcast, but... I wanted to keep the podcast a little bit shorter for her to keep her interest and everything like that. And I hope that's all right. I hope you guys can understand that. And she helped me with my Knit Crate and Sock Crate unboxing. Uh, that's my wheels churning a little bit, thinking to myself. Now, y'all saw how she got super excited when she opened up that, where she saw the yarn in the Knit Crate and the Sock Crate. You can tell that, you know, her eyes pop. She got a little bit more gleamy to her eyes. Kind of reminded me of me a little bit when when I see a yarn that I'm just really, really wanting. And, um, but as I'm watching her enjoying seeing these yarns, I'm thinking to myself, okay, get her addicted to the yarns, then go and show her things that she can make with the yarns. And then from there kind of reel her into the dark side, you know, you know, cause she's just not falling for the milk and cookies because she just says, well, pop, pop will buy me cookies. So I don't have to do any work to have cookies <laughs> anyway. Uh, so that's, that's the way I'm thinking. I figure if I can kind of bring her in a little bit and have her help me with the unboxings here and there, Maybe it'll pique her interest a little bit to learn to crochet and knit, which I, I would like to pass on my knowledge to one of my grandkids. I don't know. All of my grandkids. That would be great for them. Anyway, um, so Friday, uh, Saturday we did that. We came home. Uh, we got ready and we went to my daughter's house, which is her auntie. That's her auntie. Um, so we went to my daughter's house and she got to spend time with her cousin Riley. That's the youngest granddaughter of mine. And they had such a wonderful time. They played. Riley giggled up a storm. She hasn't seen Analia for forever, for since like towards the end of February. Um, just because of this COVID thing, we had to just kind of take it careful for a little while to make sure that everybody was okay. And um, that's the first time that Analia and Riley got to hang out and have a little time together. And it was good. It was good for her. Uh, they had a wonderful time. We spent hours there. I think we were there for like six, six and a half hours. We had dinner there and everything. We didn't get home until mm, close to... 11, 1130 or something like that. It, it was pretty late. And then um, we went to bed early because we went to the beach the next day. And my daughter met up with us, with Riley. So that gave more time for Analia and Riley to have some fun. We went to a place called Sam Key Park, which is right next to, it's a little bit south of Clearwater Beach. And as a matter of fact, I took some video on like, uh, the roadway going into Sand Key and we passed Clearwater Beach. So I was thinking that at the end of this video, at the end of this podcast, I will just insert the little clip. Um, it's just a couple minutes long. I'm actually going to speed it up and there's going to be no talking through it. I'm just going to, you know, like speed it up to twice as fast so it doesn't take as long. So you can kind of just see the scenery and the beach and stuff like that. And if so, if you want to see that, stick around. Uh, at the end, I will play that after I say my goodbyes and everything. 
Um, so Sunday was wonderful. Got out of the house, went to the beach. It was beautiful. We got to the beach a little bit late or later than usual. Usually I like to try to get there earlier in the day, but it was kind of nice because it started cooling off. It was hot at first. I had a beach umbrella, you know, the baby got to play in the sand and have some fun. Nobody got sunburned. Nobody had uh, a bad day or anything like that. Um, it was kind of nice because on the way home, it had cooled down. The sun was starting to set. It was just that nice time of the evening where it's starting to get a little bit cooler. Well, at least the sun's out of your eyes and it's a little bit nicer. But anyway, uh, so then on Monday, um, I had to actually make a couple of granny squares for Tuesday's uh, tutorial that I had done, the tidbit that I did on Tuesday to help out a friend who asked me to show how I joined using the single crochet method. And uh, so I didn't get a lot done for from like Friday morning all the way until Tuesday, basically. So literally I didn't do much of anything. I mean, it was really bad. I was, I'll be honest, I was really, really bad this week. So on Monday I was getting ready for Tuesday's uh, tidbit. And then on um, Tuesday, I did the filming and I put that up. And then Wednesday, I worked like very hard on the blanket because I needed to finish it up. And then Thursday, um, I have been, my ear and stuff has been bothering me. And I thought I might have had an ear infection, but it's my tooth. Uh, I went to the doctor and I got put on antibiotics for... Um, another infection, which I know, I know, I got to get it taken care of. I'm working on that. That'll be coming up soon. Um, so I went to the doctor, but I, when I got home, I did work again on the blanket. And then Friday, which is why I wasn't able to upload on Friday and do my podcast as usual, our refrigerator was dead. It was not working. Nothing was very, very cold. So we had to get up go get ice right away, fill up some coolers, put all our stuff from the refrigerator into the coolers. And then uh, we had to go and arrange to go get a refrigerator, which actually got delivered today. Yay, I got a new refrigerator. Uh, the story on the refrigerator was a couple of months ago, the refrigerator that was here in the house when I first moved in, and I've been here for 17 years. Um, just a few months ago, that refrigerator finally died. So anyway, I didn't want to get into payments and putting something on a credit card or anything like that. So I was trying to go the economical way, which I've done this in the past without any problems. And then we went to a used appliance place and I really, we really got taken. We bought a refrigerator. It wasn't... It was a refrigerator that doesn't have a freezer attached to it, but that was okay because I have a deep freezer in the back that I, I didn't really need the, f you know, the freezer portion. And I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. I have a big, huge refrigerator. It gives me room to put waters in there, yada, yada, whatever. If the grandkids, I have, you know, juice room and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so we bought this refrigerator for $250. Not a bad deal. It was a Kenmore Elite. I thought, you know, this is great. It's probably good. When they dropped it off and they plugged it in, um, it started making kind of like weird noises and stuff like that. And I called the guy up that I bought it from and he's like, well, if it stops working, you know, just, just bring it back, blah, 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 blah. Um, of course, it had been two months or something like that. And when I called and told him that the refrigerator stopped working, he was like, well, I'm sorry, we can only honor like, you know, basically 30 days. You have like a 30 day warranty. So after 30 days, you're pretty much SOL. I'm like, oh, great. So I spent $250 and I only got two months worth of refrigerator and I could have stupid me. It was my stupidity. I could have taken that $250 and put it on the refrigerator I bought and I would you know, all less. Anyway, story of my life, thinking I'm going to save money and I didn't. <laughs> so anyway, so today we got the re new refrigerator. It's nothing fancy. It's just like my old, old refrigerator, just a basic uh, GE, whatever. Anyway, 
Uh, it's working fine. Thank God. Knock on wood. Everything's good. But that's why yesterday, because we had to go and find a refrigerator and get all the paperwork and yada yada, all that stuff. And then today I'm a little bit late because after the refrigerator came in and, you know, I switched everything up and I had some last minute things to get together and last minute things to do. And I'm just a little bit, I'm a little bit behind. It's because it took some time and hung out with my grandkids and stuff like that. So I'm sorry, guys. So that was a really long story. Sorry about that. So it's been, like I said, I didn't get a lot, lot done. I still have things that are going on that I need to get done. And I'm hoping that this week I'll be able to get what I need done so I can... Anyway, I'm hoping this week to get some serious things done that I need to get done. Now, the reason that this blanket, oh, I am so glad it is done. I am beyond glad that this blanket is done because it was one of those situations where, I don't know, I, I can't be the only one. I read the um, pattern. And it was that so sweet baby Afghan one, blah, blah, blah. Let me see. Did I bring in the pamphlet with me? No, I didn't. Of course not. Anyway, um, so the, the pattern, the actual blanket portion went pretty nicely. It, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. It took me an average amount of time to work up the blanket part. So when I got to the border, I thought, okay, great. You know, most of the time, borders take you, eh, depending on what you're doing. I knew this border was a little bit more involved by, you know, when I read through it. But I still thought a day, maybe two days max to get this border done. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Now, I'm not a super fast crocheter, but I'm not like deadly slow or anything like that. This border was, it was a killer. I mean, literally my hands were tired. I was getting cramps in my hands. The, each round was taking me on the average close to two hours. It was over an hour per round and there were nine rounds. So do the math and you know, you can't, I can't sit that long and one period of time. Usually after I've been sitting for 40, 45 minutes, no matter what, I've got to get up. I got to move around. I got to stretch. I start getting all like antsy, like, okay, I can't sit no more. I got to stand up and do something, get my body moving again. So it did take me longer than I expected, which has really put me behind on a lot of other projects, but I, I will catch up. I will catch up. I promise guys. So anyway, I do want to share this blanket with you because although I said last week I wasn't going to share it with you when I was done, not only am I like so thrilled to get this blanket done and off my hook and yay, I can give it to the person who ordered it. Yay. They've been so patient understanding and I thank you if you were watching this podcast for totally understanding. Um, but when I got done with this blanket and I looked at it, although it uh, was a bear, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. Are you guys ready to see this gorgeous, gorgeous blanket? Now, do I suggest doing this blanket? If it is for someone that you really, really care about and you really just take your time and know, I'm going to tell you this, no that this pattern will take you more time than you could ever imagine. And you will need the 1700 yards of yarn. That is, uh, what it says in the pattern. Um, let's start off first by looking at this gorgeousness. Oh my God. It is absolutely, all right. I'm going to have to stand up. I'm sorry guys. I don't like to make noise like that, but anyway, here she is. I'm going to try to get the lacy portion kind of like you know see how it sits like this but here is the lace portion and it is completed this is the blanket portion that moves pretty quickly i love the way it looks i love the detail 
I love, see how drapey this is? Look at this. Isn't this just gorgeous? I mean, it is gorgeous. Look at that. So anyhow, this border, which I didn't think was going to take that much time, was a killer. Basically, you have nine rounds, and each one of the stitches that goes into every stitch, you know, stitch for stitch, there is a total of between seven to ten stitches, ten, seven to ten steps per stitch. So for every single one of these, you are doing either one is seven and the one with the bobble is ten. I, I, I don't know how to explain it without giving the pattern away. If, if it was a free pattern, I'd explain it totally. But anyway, there's not bobble stitches, there's puff stitches. And um, so you do two of the stitches. It takes seven different steps to do one stitch. And then the next stitch takes 10 different steps to complete the stitch. So, and then you do this in the round, all the way around this blanket, you know, for nine rounds. And like I said, it was just, a, it was not only a yarn eater, it was a time consuming project. But like I said, gorgeous. If there is somebody in your family or just someone that you love dearly and they're having a baby. I mean, look at, wouldn't this be a gorgeous christening blanket? Come on, just a gorgeous christening blanket or you could put a blue ribbon, you can make it out of whatever color, but even if you made it out of the white like this and you put a blue ribbon around it, it could be for a boy. But anyway, gorgeous, absolutely love this as far as the way it looks and the way it came out drop dead gorgeous. Anyway, so what I wanted to show you is now the body portion of this blanket used 820 yards. This is the same yarn as this. It's just in pink. And this, I caked it up and this is what 820 yards of this wellness baby from Michael's, which is a two weight. It says it's a two weight. It's a little bit of thinner two weight, but it's a two weight. When I was done with just the border, I changed cakes when I had approximately six stitches left of the body of this blanket. I wanted to have enough blanket to work, you know, my, my join in, you know, cause I knew this was lacy and I didn't want to have a join in the lace. So when I had about six stitches left to finish the body, I changed my I changed my yarn at that point. I brought in new yarn. This is what's left after doing the lace. So, oh my gosh, this was an 820 yard cake like this. And this is all, what do you think? There's maybe five yards of yarn left. So this used for just the lacy portion, it used over 800 yards of yarn just for this. And you would think to yourself, no way, but yeah, that's the crazy part. That's what kind of messed me up because I just didn't think I had that much more to go once I got to this part. I, I really thought I was, you know, I was in the home stretch. I only had, you know, less than two days worth of work left. Ha <laughs> ha, no, I had quite a few days and quite a few hours sitting to finish that up. It's done. It's going to be picked up soon in the next couple of days. Then what's going to be on my hook next? Y'all remember the gingham. <laughs> it is time for the blue one. So these are the colors that I'll be using for the blue gingham blanket. That is the last blanket that the customer ordered. And this is the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It works up really nicely. Now the other two, the pink one and the purple one that I previously did, um, the pink one, the first one I did, I used the recommended hook, which was a K hook. And I did it with the single crochet, like it said, and it was a little stiff. 
So then when I did the purple one, I went up to a seven millimeter hook and I still did the single crochet and it was a lot better. It had a little bit more move to it. It didn't feel so stiff. So this one, I already told the customer, I said, I am going to do the herringbone half double crochet and I'm going to use the seven millimeter because I think that'll make it even just a little bit more movement. And I think the herringbone half double will look gorgeous with this. And I think it's going to be perfect. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That will, that's what will be on the hook this week coming up. Beyond the fact that I am still working on that shirt that I promised you guys, I didn't get a chance to work on it this week because of this blanket that I had to finish. And I was really hoping to have that shirt done by next week so I could have brought the tutorial back, uh, um, brought the tutorial on, but it's going to be a little bit longer. I'm very sorry, guys, but I am working on it. And the gingham doesn't take up that kind of time for me, so I can work on that some and work on this shirt and try to get that done. I really am trying very hard to get that done in less than two weeks. So uh, wish me luck, guys. I really need it. So that is, this is the only thing I completed and finished. That's it. I, the only other thing that I have that I'm working on is that shirt. And I'm sorry, I can't really show you guys. So the only other thing that happened this week is a couple acquisitions that I made. Nothing huge. Um, I'll share them with you real quick. And I hope you guys will stay with me to see some of the goodness I got. I'm going to enable a little bit, okay? This is the enabling section. <laughs> so this is nothing serious. Tom went to Walmart and he came home and he's like, I found you some yarn. <laughs> you know, hey, if a man goes to the store and brings you home yarn without you asking, score, right? So I was like, thank you so much. And he got it for $1.50. It's the Woolies Thick and Quick. And this colorway is, oh, they covered the color with this sticker. Well, anyway, it's a pretty blue. <laughs> so anyway, so he got me that. So come on, that's nice. That's pretty cool. I I'm going to say good going, Tom. Did a good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Um, so the other acquisitions I made, um, Tracy with Crochet Rosetti, she has an Etsy store. Now I've been stalking her Etsy store for a while, especially when she started dyeing her yarns, but I've been kind of just kind of keeping my eye out on her store to see what kind of colors of yarn that she puts up. Not only does she have some really pretty hand dyed yarns that she's uh, been experimenting with. She's very artistic and she has a very good eye for putting color palettes together. And, and just, I could see her turning the yarn dyeing business into a serious business. I mean, if she wants to do that, I can see it. You know how you can, you, some people, you just, they have that flair where they can just say, oh, these colors are perfect. Bam. And they do it. And it's like, <gasps> stunning you know i'm not quite that person i'm gonna give it a shot but i'm not quite that person anyway and not only does she have some yarns and she has some cute little knickknacks and doodads yeah whatever uh she does a lot of what she calls her critters and they're just amigurumis but she like designs these really cute adorable amigurumis and she has them in her her etsy shop for sale if you guys have never been to her Etsy store, y'all should check it out. I will leave her link in the description box. So I wanted to show you, I did pick up a little, little something, nothing serious, but uh, she gave me a, th a thank you card and it came in a cute little notions pouch with a notions pouch. It's like a satchel. It smells good. I don't know what it is, but it smells really good. And I love it. And then I got, it's all wrapped up with a, with a little thank you sticker on it. Oh my God. Adorable. Adorable, isn't it? I loved the sunglasses. As soon as I saw them, I was like, I've got to have it. And I like starfish. I think starfish are pretty cool. We get a lot of starfish, believe it or not, in the Gulf. Um... This is a starfish that I found, whoops, washed up on the Gulf. 
when I was looking for seashells and I brought it home and I put it in the sun for a week and she bleached out. No, this wasn't alive when I got it. It was already dead, but I get these and I get sand dollars. I have a sand dollar around here somewhere. I want to get like um, a shadow box and put some of these in it and hang it up, which I will do soon. One of these days on top of everything else that I want to get done. <laughs> So anyway, uh, just gorgeous. Love it. Thank you, Tracy. I love them. So that's what I got from Tracy. And then just real quick, um, Nick Crate, when they had everything was late and there was some problems, they gave us some wonderful coupons. They gave us some deals and I jumped on the deal wagon and I bought just, um, just four, four hanks of yarn it's probably going to blow out a little bit. Let me see if I can do this. There we go. Can you see that? So I got four of these. These are the Audine wools, the interlock from Knit Crate that they had in the Knit Crate. And I had gotten the purple colorway, the purple tonal, which was called Haze. This one is called Beaches. It's the cotton, linen, lyocell, and nylon blend. And I just really love the feel of this. And living in Florida, it's just perfect to make a shirt or something out of. Something nice and light. We have so many hot days that this is perfect. The four hanks is plenty. It's a sport weight. So it's plenty to make like a lacy type top. You know, something that you can wear, say, uh, a camisole and then put that over it. And it just looks just really cute. A camisole underneath it and a pair of jeans. I mean, just adorable. It's perfect for going out or, you know, just a casual night out on the town going, well, when we get to that point where we can start doing things again a little bit more, but it's perfect for that kind of stuff. And it'll look just adorable, you know, just, just for fun. For funsies. So anyway, I loved the colors. I had seen so many people opening it and I'm just a natural, you know, these neutral colors just talk to me. I love this stuff and I liked the way it feels and I like the way it's working up and I think it's going to feel really great in a wearable. So I had to get some more and the deal was magnificent. I think I spent 20 bucks on all four of these. So that's really good. So that's some of the things that I purchased. So, you know, just a touch of enabling for you <laughs> if you guys are so inclined. So anyway, last but not least, and it's just a quick little something. After I did the tidbit, which was the attaching the granny squares using the single crochet method, um, one of my comments, I'm sorry, I forgot who the person was who commented this. I'm very sorry. Um, but they had said, uh, it looks great, but what does the back look like? And I, I didn't think about showing you the back of this afterwards. So this was the granny squares I attached and, uh, did the tutorial with. So here's the back. They kind of look just like if you attached really using, uh, maybe like a whip stitch or something like that, you can, kind of see the stitches. See, let me see if I pull on it, you can kind of see, but it's basically flat. So there you go. That's what it looks like the back of the work. So I figured I would address that in my podcast this Friday. So I hope that helps whoever was asking about what it looks like on the back. So there you go. Anyway, that is it, guys. That is everything. Uh, I hope you can understand why I was late. It's been a little bit hectic, but it's all good. It, it was, it's been good. It's been a good week. I had a good time with my grandkids. I had a wonderful time with my daughter. I just needed some family time. I needed some getting out of the house and getting some fresh air. You know, everybody needs that sometimes. So... So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys very, very much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I will be talking to you very, very soon. Guys, take care and I love you. Bye.